Hi everybody, Matt back with you. Today we're on the edge of Burnley and we're having a look around Townley Park and Townley Hall. So this is Townley Hall which stands in Townley Park. It stood here in various guises since about the 14th century, give or take different renovations which it's undertaken on now. But the Townleys owned this part of land from about 1200. It was given to Burnley Corporation in 1902 and became a public park after the bloodline of the Townleys ran out. Today we're going to look at some of the objects inside but also some ghost stories. So rather than me stand in front of the camera and chat away about the stories, uh, we'll walk around the hall and we'll walk around the grounds so you can see what's here. Now there are four specific ghost stories, which are very quick. It's just an info on what stories have been told from here. But also, are some grisly enough things within the hall, which are very, very real. The stories obviously come from folklore. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to the White Lady of Townley Hall. The ghost of the White Lady is perhaps the most seen ghost at Townley Hall, and she has been spotted often wandering along the battlements above the entrance to the hall. No one knows exactly who she is, if she is one of the Townleys, but folklore states that she may be somebody waiting for a long-lost love who never returned, possibly from a war. The Townleys at one point were involved in the Jacobite Rebellion, so is this lady still wandering the battlements of Townley Hall today? Now in this room, this is the collections room. The last owner of Townley Hall was a great fan of collections and brought objects from across the world, a bit like a number of people did in the British Empire, uh, to put on display. So as you can see, we have a mummy. Quite a few objects from Egypt. There are some ivory carvings which I presume have come from elephant tusks. But the museum houses quite a few rare species which are now stuffed. That was quite commonplace at the time. As mentioned, the Townley bloodline ran out in 1900-ish. But there is said to be a certain ghost of one of the Townleys haunting the building to this day, but is only seen every seven years. In the chapel inside the hall, we get our first look at the boggart of Townley Hall, whose story we'll return to soon. Hidden away in the chapel, though, we can also find the head of Colonel Francis Townley, who died in 1746 at the age of 38. He was executed for, in London for his part in the Jacobite Rebellion. His head was returned to Townley Hall and it was placed here in the cupboard inside the chapel. Now this head is a replica, but it was still there quite a few number of years later, uh, possibly even up to um, the Burnley Corporation taking over. 
So although Francis Townley's head is here, is John Townley. Around this corner, we get our first look at Bill the Bear, stuffed bear from Kashmir in India, which came along with all those other stuffed animals around 1910, and has been displayed in the hall since 1923. Sir John Townley, born in 1473, died in 1541 was said to have illegally enclosed some of the common lands in the area, which deprived local farmers of grazing land, and changed it into a hunting park. The spirit of John Townley still roams the rooms of this hall 500 years later, but only appears every seventh year. Tradition says that his ghost appearing foretold the upcoming death of one of the Townley family. Back outside the hall and heading up the hill into the woods. Up here we come across the site of a former bandstand. So this was the site of the Stocks Massey Music Pavilion which was built and opened in 1928. Unfortunately a fire in 1963 led to this huge construction being demolished. These stairs are where you would have gone up to see the pavilion, but today they are all that's left of it. This is what it looked like. At the top of the woods, we find Boggart's Bridge, our next story. This bridge across the stream was home to a Boggart, a demonic creature of folklore, who demanded gifts from travellers needing to cross the bridge. The terrified locals offered the soul of the next living thing to cross the bridge to the Boggart in exchange for leaving them alone. The Boggart agreed, as long as greenery always grew in the land where the bridge was. The next morning the people gathered and urged an old hen across the bridge. The Boggart claimed the hen's soul and disappeared, leaving just a smell of sulphur and brimstone, and has never been seen since. And as long as greenery always grows in that spot, hopefully... You'll never be seen again. At the top of the woods, we find some other ancient artefact known as Foldis Cross. Initially situated in St Peter's Churchyard, and is said to be the grave of John Foldy, the Catholic priest, but it could also have been used as Burnley's Market Cross. Either way, in 1790, it was rescued from an anti-Catholic mob and placed basically in the backyard of Townley Hall until it was moved further away to the top of the hill. This tree is said to be the oldest tree in Burnley, and looking at it, it's not hard to see why. Situated in what is called the medieval forest. Let's get on to our final ghost of Townley Hall.
Said to haunt the grounds of Townley Hall is Trash, the phantom dog. It's been said that he's the size of a small donkey with jet black fur and blazing red eyes the size of saucers. His appearance was also associated with death. However, what those links were, I'm not sure. This fantastic memorial statue also stands in the grounds of Townley Hall. Kind of reminds me of something from Russia. What do you think? There are a number of places of interest outside in the grounds, including the Monk's Well, the Fairies in the Wood and the Ice House. This is now a home for bats. So there we go. That's our look at some of the ghost stories of the fabulous Townley Hall, which is currently undergoing quite a lot of renovation so some of it we haven't managed to get to today um, but still worth a visit I'm very cheap I think I've just paid 275 to get in and children go free so can't get much better than that okay see you soon